Hello and welcome to STL's Tech Talks. And today we are going to talk about pre-connectorized fiber cables. Pre-terminated solutions or the pre-connectorized fiber cables come with pre-attached connectors at both the ends that can help save a significant amount of time on the field. They're easy to install, reduce deployment time, minimize errors, and provide flexibility in network design and installation. They are ideal for data centers, telecommunications, and fiber to the home networks. They are a popular choice for network installations that require quick deployment and high performance. Today, we speak with Kai from the STL Global team to understand how you can leverage these connectors for faster deployment. Let's dive right in. So diving right in, Kai, what exactly is a pre-terminated solution? I mean, you know, how, how would you explain it? Okay, so a pre-terminated solution is basically optical cable, hmm. cable with optical fibers, where you have put on in one end or both end a connector. Okay. And an optical connector, there, there could be many types of connectors. It could be what's called a ruggedized connector that is used for outdoor applications. Basically, it's an outdoor connector. You can just plug it in, screw it in, it's watertight, and it can stand all kinds of weather conditions. Or you have an indoor connector. So mm. an indoor connector is a little bit more fragile and, and it's not it will not be able to be exposed to the weather condition and sun. But you can have that connector plug into a box that is protecting your connector and adapters. Okay. So pre when, when we talk about pre-termination, it's a cable with a connector. And that could be a cable with one fiber where you have one connector. Yeah. It can also be a cable with 12 connectors or 12 fibers and 12 connectors. Okay. Meaning that you have one cable, inside the cable you have 12 fibers, and then you split those out in a fan out, and that is then going into pigtails, and then you have 12 individual connectors on two bands. Mm, okay, got it. And the difference between this and the field would be that you have to, you know, in the field, uh, you know, solutions, you would have to put connectors afterwards. And in a pre-terminated solutions, the connectors would come in automatically. I mean, you know, the solution is designed as such that the connectors are there. That's so the only the solution, So the solution is designed. So the connectors there, you're using boxes where you have adapters where you plug in your connector. Okay. In a more traditional installation mm -hmm. depending on where you are in the network if you are further back i mean you just use you have a closure you take in your cable you do the splicing in there when you go closer to the home you may have a splice box mm -hmm. so one cable is coming in and you do the splicing in there to the outcoming you may not need connectors mm -hmm. uh, connectors is good because it, it's quick fast installation it's easy to redo something you can take it out plug it in again but it's also important to be realistic and a connector is also adding loss to your system. So connectors give you about 0.3, 0.35 dBs loss. Okay. While a splice, if you splice fibers to each other, in an average, a splice give you 0.05 dBs loss. So, so you will have less loss if you do a splice system compared mm -hmm. to if you have a connectors in there. Okay. Got it. So, Got it. And so, you know, so, is, is this something? Yeah, continue. No, so you need to have, you need to design your system so you have those margins in your loss budget to handle a pre terminated solution. Okay, all right. And you know, your customers in Europe, would they know about this? Customers know that you are saving time by doing the installation mm -hmm. uh, with pre terminated connectors. That mm -hmm. is well known. What they get surprised is when you show them the numbers of how much time you can save but per splice, how much time that a splice takes and do the preparation compared to just coming in and plug it in. That's one thing that is not that known. Mm -hmm. and, and people get amazed about the time saving. Another thing that they are not considering, I mean, you can discuss pre-terminated solution for outdoor, which typically is ruggedized connectors, a lot of time, time saving that you don't have to climb up to so splicing in the poles or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But there is another thing also when you are indoor, mm -hmm. if you are in an MDU or a single family home, 
as soon as you are in a single family home or in someone's apartment, mm -hmm. do not really want to do splicing in there. Yeah. Uh, first of all, you would like to have as little time as possible in someone's home. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have to do splicing, you can just, if you have a cable, you can take a cable, plug it in, and that's it, and off you go. That's one saving, uh, because it's always difficult to find time. People mm -hmm. are uncomfortable having installers in there. They don't want to have people messing around inside their home too long. There is another aspect into this that people don't normally think of. When you do splicing and handling fibers, you are cutting the fibers as well. Okay. That fiber can potentially go down in the carpet and may not be found. Yep. If you are outdoor, normally that's not a problem. But if that fiber get caught in a in carpet and, and the people living there have kids, toddlers crawling around, there is a risk that they get that fiber and get spun and get the fiber in them. So from a safety point of view, even though that the installers do whatever they can to protect the splicing, there is a potential for accidents when you do splicing in someone's home. Understood. So, yeah. All right. You know, you mentioned that, you know, there's a pre-terminated solution for fast, uh, you know, fiber to the X installation. What are the benefits of pre-terminated solutions? The benefit of the pre-terminated solutions is that you can do an installation much quicker, much faster. You save time. Okay. And when you save time, you're also saving on skill level that is needed for the installers. So you can actually use less skilled people that don't need to be expert in splicing to, to make an installation. You can say that you're moving the skilled labor from the field to the factory. Okay. All right. Got it. So, you know, it's it's faster. Is that it's correct? Fast. It is. Yeah. You and what is the cost difference between field and pre-terminated solutions? Is there a cost difference that's there? There is two two cost difference. One is obviously the the cost of the component. You will pay a little bit more for a cable with a connector compared to if you buy just the cable. Okay. But you save the saving on time. I mean, we've done a little bit of calculation on this. Mm -hmm. And if we save one splice per home past, and that splice is, is based up on a pole, mm -hmm. for if, if we look at per a million homes past, which, which is a quite standard term to use, you will save uh, about 150,000 hours in installations. Wow. Uh, so 150,000 man hours, which is about 7 million euros mm. in, in terms of saving. So even if you pay a little bit more for the equipment you buy, you will make up on that on time and, and saving in labors when, when you look at the installation in the field. What are the kind of skills that, you know, this manpower would need to install one? First of all, uh, you need to know how to install a cable. You need to know how to handle a cable, obviously. Mm -hmm. But that is common. A lot of people working with electronic installations, they know how to do that. But you do not need to know the splice equipment, how to splice an optical fiber. Mm -hmm. you, do, you do need to know how to install an optical connector. An optical connector requires some training. Mm -hmm. I would say that that training takes about five minutes. And, oh. then you, and then you know how to install it. It's that okay. simple. You need to know how to clean and you need to know how to push it in. And, and that should not take more than five minutes to, to learn how to do that. You know, you said that it would only take five minutes for a person to learn about it. Uh, you know, where is the training coming from? Who's responsible okay. for these trainings? When you don't have enough skilled people and you're trying to get increase your workforce, mm. you are looking for people that are used to work with cables. They're used to work with cable installation, but the cable may, may be a different cable than mm -hmm. an optical fiber cable. Yeah. That is a quite common and you have a great pool of people to take from. So that, those people is, is the one you would like to take into your group. The training of how to install a connector mm. will be done on site. You don't go to a training class to learn how to plug in a connector. If you need to learn how to do a splicing, then you will go to a, a bigger training sessions or a, a day's training to learn how to splice and everything like that. Got it. I also read that, uh, you know, one of the disadvantages of pre-terminated solution is that people have to deal with excess cable, the cable that is left out. You know, how to deal with that and how, how can one control it? 
So, uh, absolutely true. So when you have a pre-terminated solution or a pre-terminated cable, you have connectors on either one side or, or two sides. Okay. If you have a connector on one side, it's easy because one side you plug it in. Mm. On the other side, you will need to do splicing. Mm. So on that in that situation, you cut the cable to length, you do the splicing. Okay. But when you have the connectors on both ends, you are buying the, the these in, in, in different lengths. You, it could be like you buy them in 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, or something like that. Ideally, you would like to have the precise lengths, but that would make it a logistic nightmare. So you need to settle on some standard length. There will be an excess length of the, of the cable, but that is something that you store either in a storage box or you have a space behind um, behind the box where you can store this excess cable. Mm -hmm. So in the design, you need to have storage space for the excess length of the cable. Okay, all right, got it. Uh, you know, anything else, Kai, that you, uh, you know, want to add to this? No, I, I think that if, I, if I'm going to say and end this, pre-terminated solutions outdoor is something that is gaining momentum people start to realize the need for saving time to do as many home connect or home pass as possible because time starts to be in essence. Yeah. When you go inside mm -hmm. in big building MBUs, it's become also more and more common to use pre-terminated solution connect connectorized in both then. Reason for that is that yes, they need to split it up. But if you have a pre-terminated solution connectorized in both ends where there's absolutely no splicing involved, the number of people that can do the installation and help you to speed it up increase enormously. All right. Understood. Thank you so much, uh, Guy, for your inputs.